What's up, boys? Today, instead of doing something exciting, I'm doing the absolute most basic build you can do, the classic starting scout with the deep core GK2. And at level 18, there's an unstable overclock for it that gives it plus 100% damage and reload speed, but your other weapons all get minus 30% damage and reload speed. So I'm going all in on the deep core and just using support weapons for it. Let's grab the damage there. So for other weapons, I'm looking for either the M1000 or the Jury Rigged Boomstick to unlock medium and kinetic upgrades for myself. Grab the level there. And then I might also want to get something like the Bug Taser or the Stun Sweeper so that I can get those to level 6 for the, unclock, or the overclock that reduces their own damage by 25% but buffs all your other stuff by 25%. I guess just a bit of reload speed there. So I'm going super hard on one weapon and using a lot of support slash utility weapons for it. And doing the most basic scout you possibly can with all the starter stuff. Artifacts aren't super important, I'll just want the really strong stuff like crit and fire rate and HP slash region. One thing to note about the deep core let me see what I have here. Nishanka is okay. That shares a lot of tags. Sure, that's fine. Um, I won't unlock Kinetic if I go that, though. So I might want to just grab the Stun Sweeper, since that has the overclock for it. Make my arm hair stand up. I probably want to go for the M1000 or the Jury Rig, so I can get Kinetic unlocked as well. So one thing about the... Deep core is that projectile weapons, I believe, hit three targets by default. But if you can get the piercing shots upgrade for them, they will hit 20 targets by default, which is a massive, basically required upgrade. So if I don't get that at level six, it's going to be a pretty big loss. And if I don't get it at all, it's probably just going to break the build. So a huge upgrade, basically required for anything that can get it. I guess, well, you do get a bit of starting movement speed on this build, so let's just go with the crit damage there. The classic does have some of the worst passive bonuses, but movement speed is helpful at least. So I guess I'll grab some pretty early purple XP there. I'm only level 7 currently, so that's a lot of time to get value out of that. Didn't see that coming, sucker. <laughs> uh, it's definitely too early to take that. That's pretty bad, so I guess I'm just going to grab that. I'm raring to try this out. It's also pretty bad, but it'll give a little bit of value. The two levels will help me get towards the global damage upgrade there, and that's the highest rarity, so I guess I'll grab that. Probably grab that for the overclock progress there. So as you can see, my AoE damage is absolutely terrible without the piercing shots yet. Thought I could finish that a bit faster. Oops. Yes. So yeah, I probably need to get the piercing shots pretty soon or I'm gonna be in trouble. Grab the damage there. See if I can get that final level for it. That's decent, but I do need to see if I can get piercing shots here. Unfortunately, these are both terrible, so I might just die here. Overclock, my favorite type of clock. See if I can get some detonations on them. Grab the fire rate there. 
I think the ideal upgrades for the deep core would probably be piercing shots into electrical conversion, since the light weapons with the support upgrade are all electrical damage. So you would have the electrical upgrades there. Let's see if I can get some more detonators on those guys. Oh yeah. Grab the damage there. Where's the other elite? There's no way I killed him myself, so he must have died to the detonators. Um, let's just grab the pretty early luck there. So the boomstick will unlock upgrades there. That also has the plus 25% to everything. But I probably want to grab this just in case. Well, I have to get the piercing shots on that for the build to even work. So I can't go electrical conversion on it as well anyways. Um, reload speed there is okay. I can look for the damage increase. Looks like the other elite was right on top of him, apparently. Grab the big damage there. See if I can get a detonator over there for a bit more damage. Fire right there. Drop pod is pretty close, so I do have a little bit of time here. Fortunately, it doesn't seem like I can grab much XP in there. Go with the pickup or crit. Probably just the crit. Although I do want both there. Diving deeper, taking you to stage two. So we've got some nice deep core upgrades at least here. And I don't have piercing shots, so I mean, technically the build is just dead. But I guess I'll go electrical and try to play it out. This is gonna change everything. Like, piercing shots is so strong that you just can't not have it. I rarely pick one of these. Nothing for me here. Let's try um, again. doesn't seem like I can get much here. Crit's decent. I can get a bit of early here. pickup. Reload for the boomstick. I could try and convert that to electrical. But I'm gonna get the 18 that goes all in on that. So it won't ultimately do much for me. Up and get going, miner. We have quotas to fulfill. Man, they put a required upgrade in the game and then they don't even offer it to you. That's messed up. I guess probably the reload speed there, that will affect my main weapon at least. So now I'm the most basic scout without even being able to AoE damage anything. I can't kill anything, I'm so weak. I think I'll just take the huge levels there and look for the damage increase, and we didn't get it, so just grab the XP pick up there. Man, this build is not looking good right now with the options I'm getting. Exemplary work. You've achieved your objective in a wreck of time. Big swoon detected. Bugaman, get ready. Feeling 
much better now. Probably just the big move speed there, wow, help out with some of the artifacts that reduce it. I don't care that much about any of these, probably just the scaling survivability. Nitra's okay. I already have one of those and it's not going to help me much on Hazard 5 on a squishy build. Damage, not very useful. Probably just grab the movement speed. I can at least run from all the bugs I can't kill now. Let me out of here! I'm gonna have to take some damage here, so go through the smallest guys there, I think. Go with the fire rate, probably. Luck is pretty good, but I'm dying here. Need to get some damage on the elites and probably use some detonators on them as well. But I just don't think that this is going to work without piercing shots. Like, with three enemies in front of them, I just straight up can't even hit them. Uh, let's grab probably the Bug Taser. Nishanka would be okay. That's electrical and medium and precise. I don't think there's any precise upgrades. Um, probably just... Well, if I get that, that will unlock the light upgrades, which I don't want. So I guess I will just grab that. It also gives a source of... a small number of the acid debuff, which might help, I don't know. They're getting worse, Miner. You need to move. Build looking pretty rough right now. Grab the deep core this upgrade way. there. One down. One I should have bad. decent damage if I can actually hit them, but there's just going to be enemies blocking them the entire time, so I'm going to need the this damage there. I can get all the XP that exploded over here. I can probably grab some levels. Um, out of these, probably the Nishanka to increase the debuff potential of that with some overclocks maybe. Grab the fire rate on the deep core. Nishanka damage or crit chance. I think I need the crit chance. Reload speed there is pretty helpful. One more level and I can get a big damage upgrade on that. Probably the fire rate there. So this is what I wanted to build around, but since I didn't get the piercing shots, this is probably going to make me lose now. Uh, 
Nishanka reload will help a little bit with debuffs. Status effect is not great, but it's much higher than the other stuff here. Crit chance for electrical, pretty good. Out of these, this probably isn't going to get anywhere useful. I might just grab some mining speed here. Fire rate is okay for debuffs. I'll probably grab that anyways. I guess I'll see what I can get from that. Crit chance. Sure, some early mining speed. See what else there is. Can't get any of those. Projectile is pretty good. This will help me look for the 25% global damage. We've got work to do and quotas to meet. You have your objectives. When this is done, I'm starting my own bloody mind, that's for damn sure. Probably just the huge crit. I actually have an insane amount of crit on electrical now, plus 48%. On top of my base, 47%. If I can get the crit artifact, I might actually be in a decent spot now. Despite only hitting three enemies at a time. Make sure I get all the red sugar now, since that'll add up over the course of the run. Red sugar. Well done, you got them all. Swarm is heading your way. Load up. My AOE is so so bad. That looks like the Praetorians cleared it out for me, but that's so much stuff that I can't possibly fight through right now. Alien scum. Ugh, never felt better. Go with the fire rate, probably. That would get me close to an overclock, but I really this need works. some damage on my main gun. And that's a pretty big upgrade. See if I can maybe squeeze into the supply pod now. To fight for your life. A big swarm is approaching. Doesn't seem like it. Seems like I'm just gonna get swarmed at this point with no AoE. So damage, damage is not super useful on them. Probably just grab that. Big swarm detected. Bug and get ready. If I got fire rate or reload speed, it would at least allow them to debuff a bit better. Come on, give me a decent artifact. I need some help. So crit chance, there we go. My crit should be pretty good, but I don't know if it'll save the run. My electric crit is well over 100% now. Probably the fire rate there, that will affect all of my main stuff. Crit, movement speed, both are pretty good. Probably just take the higher rarity there. A lot of explosions helping me out with some of the AoE at least. Electrical damage is 
decent. Probably just take the super high rarity reload. That'll help me push for the overclock and also apply the shock debuff more. Damage isn't super useful, but none of these really are, so I guess I'll take it there. Oh, yeah. now we're Fire rate is alright. Should have really fast reload speed with the overclock, so fire rate is a pretty good stat for it. So we've got pickup, reload, damage, probably just the highest rarity there. Feels rare. Feels right. Pickup isn't quite as necessary with the boomerang picking stuff up for me as well. Reload is pretty good there. That's not actually super useful with that debuffing all of my weapons, but I guess I'll probably grab it. Dimity dips. Cryo. That would reduce my debuffing capabilities on it with less shocked and corrode, so I'll probably just grab that. Armor or reload, probably just some big armor there, help out with the survivability. Well done, objective completed. Drop pod has arrived. Get there now. It will leave with Fire rate, not bad. Helps you apply debuffs more often. On top of the standard DPS benefits. Crit chance, sure. Pretty insane crit run. This would have actually been pretty nuts as a sharpshooter. Stage three completed. Remember to mine for minerals as you progress deeper. And then I have all the shock debuffs from three of my weapons, increasing that further. Probably take all the upgrades for my main weapon here. That's okay, but probably won't help that much. That's pretty good. Epic upgrade. That's a no-brainer. Probably see what else I can get instead of taking Nashanka Surely upgrades there. That's decent. Hell sure. Yeah. Grab some this more crit, why not? There's beasties to shoot and work to be done. Get to it, miner. That guy in mission control. He really has a cozy job. I'm getting surprisingly far considering my main weapon only hits three enemies. But it might actually be doable with how much crit chance and damage I have. Just so hard to hit anything. Big swarm detected. Bug up and get ready. Just what the doctor ordered. Loot bug pop. I'm kind of shredding anything that I can hit. But three targets is just so small in this game. Fire rate, electrical. Probably fire rate there, I think. This is the smart pick. Apply debuffs more often. And I have great reload speed on my primary weapon anyways.
We have a supply pod prep for you. We need the LZ. If I get a decent artifact here, I think this might actually be doable. Yeah, give me some sugar. Despite the overclock sabotaging me at every step of the way. I still need the global damage on the Stun Sweeper. I didn't get the absolute best overclock you can possibly Ooh, get on the deep away, core. Didn't really get anything super useful on the Nishanka, although I'm not sure if there is anything there actually at the low levels for it. Let's grab the probably just the reload speed for everything. Looks like there's a magnet to the top right I can save for a little bit later. Also need to pull them away from the supply pod over there. Move through the weakest guys there since I'm kind of getting cut off. Red sugar. Red sugar is actually pretty helpful since it increases my HP as well. Really need to pull those guys away from the supply pod. But I'm actually kind of killing the elites pretty quickly somehow. Um, probably reload speed there. I have a decent amount of fire rate for it already. I could get like HP off of this, that would be pretty helpful. Reload, probably for the medium. I guess fire rate's not bad. I have an insane amount of crit already. This is the most insane three target build I've ever had. But I'm not sure if a three target build can work. Probably just the movement speed there to help out with what I just lost. Probably the fire rate on my main weapon there. The drop pod is about to leave. Get your ass moving, miner. Those elites are getting melted. Let's go with the... probably the reload there to get the overclock. And there we have the global damage boost. I was looking for multiple weapons with that, but at least I got it on one of them. Let's grab the fire rate on my main weapon. Damage and fire rate are decent. Um, I guess. Let's see what else we got. None of these are amazing. Reload is okay. It's pretty cheap. But I don't know that the overclocks will help me that much. I'm just gonna see what else there is. Three levels. Would firing a second at one of those help me that much? I don't think so. Nope. Try again. Reload on my main weapon, sure. Now, this is a rare Electrical is pretty good. This is it. Destroy the cocoons and take out the dreadnought. Good luck, miner. I feel vitalized. I actually am pretty confident that I can kill the boss fairly quickly if I can hit him. But there's just going to be so many enemies that it's going to be difficult to actually hit him. So I'm currently sitting at 92 plus 48 on electrical plus all of the shock debuffs that my 28 
shots per second buy rate applies. One down. So I'm probably sitting at like 200% crit chance on a single target or so. Fire rate? Nah, just grab the damage this for that. So them out. Think you could kill me? Well, think the again. surface is too packed for the supply part to land. Please clear it. Let's save this just in case. It is going to be pretty hard to hit the boss, but I do have the targets the highest HP enemy at least. Save that for later, clear out the area a bit. Although, I can't actually AoE down any of these huge packs coming at me. Let's not open up that area. The fewer that enemies, the better with this build. I can go grab the red sugar up here and increase my HP a bit now. And I think there was some a bit over here somewhere. Nishanka or Voltaic. These are not super great. Let's just see what else there is. I guess medium reload's fine. With 28 shots a second, reload speed is actually getting pretty decent again, even if it is already pretty fast. This build actually would have been completely nuts with the piercing shots. May as well grab that now. Where is this guy? Oh, there he is. Bait out the charge. Try to get this down immediately. I don't think that's going to hit. He's going to have a charge soon, so I'm going to play it safe here. Let's go with the reload on that, I suppose. That's, again, going to be too early. I'm kind of wrecking him even without it, so I kind of just wasted time there. Oops. Kill him with it to assert dominance. So we're now at 126 plus the electrical, plus the shock debuffs on enemies probably pushing well over 200% crit chance. And that's it for the extremely basic scout starting class, starting weapon. Three support weapons for it. If you want to see more stupid builds, like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. 21 million on the deep core. Actually not too bad for a support weapon with only seven levels over there. Full electric conversion basically. And that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.